Dr. Karen Can here, and today I want to talk to you about brain balancing. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, years ago in my medical practice, I'm now retired, what I noticed that people were not healing very well. And um, when we would use acupuncture, energetic therapies, in addition to whatever holistic medical therapies, it would work a lot better. But then there was like that 5% of people who still wouldn't respond, or if they responded, it would be good for two days after acupuncture and then back to baseline, and then better for two days after acupuncture, then back to baseline. And the improvements were just like a snail's pace. That wasn't good enough for me, so I was trying to figure out how can I help these people heal faster and deeper um, without them, you know, uh, spending fortune <laughs> on therapy like every day. So what I discovered was that uh, these LifeWave phototherapy patches, especially this one, the Eon phototherapy patch, which helps with stress and inflammation, can actually help to balance the nervous system within a few minutes, sometimes seconds. But what I do want to share with you is the Advanced Brain Balancing Protocol. We're going to first take a look at the original brain balancing protocol, right? The different acupuncture points and locations that we would be using. So let's go over some of the points, the acupuncture points that you can use. Now, it's less important that you memorize what the names of the points are and what they do according to Chinese medicine, but it's more important to get the principles that these points specifically for this brain balancing protocol is in the head and neck area. The Eon patch is a positively charged patch which means that generally speaking, it goes on the midline of the body or on the right-hand side. Now, there are um, times where we do put the Eon on the left-hand side of the body when there is uh, injury, inflammation, but we're not going to talk about that today because today we're going to talk about the um, uh, Eon brain balancing protocol and the advanced protocol. So what you do is you take your Eon and it is a single phototherapy patch. Nothing goes through the skin no chemicals, nothing. It all works with light. And you're going to adhere it to one of these points that you see on the screen. So let's go over these points. The first point is right in the center of the forehead. So that point connects with uh, multiple um, organs uh, in the head, including the pineal gland, pituitary, hypothalamus are all in that area. So you're stimulating there. You're also stimulating what's called the third eye. And so this is a really, really great point, especially for sleeping. Um, and if you happen to have sinus inflammation up here, that may help because this does decrease stress and inflammation. It's clinically shown to do that. Now, if you're saying to me, well, Dr. Karen, I don't sleep 12 hours, I understand. So what time do you wake up in the morning? So if you wake up at 8 a.m. in the morning, put it on at 8 p.m. at night. So set yourself a little alarm on your smartphone or whatever to put patches on for that 12 hours so you don't waste the extra you know, energy in the patches, use it for the whole 12 hours. You know, it's right in the middle, stimulates all these wonderful uh, endocrine hormonal glands you have in the head um, and has that spiritual third eye, you know, activation as well. The other really popular point is behind the right ear. Now, most people will have some hair there. So what you're looking for is the hairless part. So let's see if I can show you. Now, what I want you to do is make sure you put it behind the ear a little ways so that the edge of the patch doesn't dig into to the crease because that can be really uncomfortable. So put it on the bone and just, it doesn't have to be a precise point. Remember, it's the right side, okay, right side. This is actually really, really good if somebody has nervousness symptoms during the day, they're kind of, you know, scared, you know, fearful, that kind of thing. It's really good for that. Um, also a very calming point. I like to use it because it's out of my way and um, people don't even know that I'm wearing it. It keeps me focused and calm during the day. So that's a really great point. Uh, the next point I want to cover is the one on the top of the head. So that is up here. Okay. Governor Vessel 20. Let me show you how to find that tip of the ears, make a imaginary line right to the top of your head, okay, and poke around at the center. That is the point. How do you stick it there without pulling your hair out? A couple of things. You can put tape 
uh, like gentle paper tape and place it up there. You can use a headband. I prefer either plastic or fabric, not metal, because um, metal headbands can uh, reflect electromagnetic radiation, like from cell phones, Wi-Fi, things like that, and then concentrate them in the structures next to them, which of course is your brain. That's not what you want to do. Um, so fabric or plastic and fabric is preferred because we don't want anything too tight and squishing you, right? There's also these clips with little rubberized clips that my friend Anna and team member uh, like to use. Those are uh, awesome as well because they literally clip around like almost three quarters of the patch um, and they're very, very steady and stable. Uh, the other thing you can do is put it on the inside of a hat. All right, so you can't see it. it's on the inside of cap or hat or beanie. Doesn't have to touch your head. Okay, it can be this far away, it still works and um nobody knows you're wearing it <laughs> these are great for the guys that wear hats right and they don't want people to know what they have on um so that's one option and um what i generally do is i just take half the sticker back and go off now the whole patch is working people okay don't cut the patch in half. <laughs> the whole patch is working just take half the sticker back and off just so you don't have so much hair to pull out later so I just literally put it right on there and it balances. And sometimes I don't remember that it's there. It kind of runs out of gas after however many hours. And then I'm in the shower and I'm like, oh, I have a patch in my head. <laughs> and that's one of the ways you can get it off your head easily is when you're in the shower, there's some soap and it just you know slides out much, much easier. So a little tip there. So this great point is uh, fantastic for elevating the mood. And the energy so if you're feeling like bleh, you know kind of down tired you know moods kind of bleh, you know blah this is a great pick me up in fact i used to call it the happy point in my acupuncture practice bliss point happy point you know that's what i like to to call it and um again 12 hours a day this is a good one to do during the day at night sometimes you know people lose it because they're tossing and turning um, or it's uncomfortable when their hair is moving the other point I want to show you is on the back of the neck. So if you just feel the bump at the back of your neck, that's Governor Vessel 14, you can put the Eon patch there, day or night, again, 12 hours. This point is very popular because it's actually in the uh, LifeWave brochures as a really great point. And this point actually connects to all the yang channels of the upper shoulders and arms. So those are the channels the acupuncture channels that go on the outside of the arms so this is a nice point also releases heat so some people with you know a lot of heat up here this is a good point to use as well now you can tweak that point a little bit so that point is right here in the bone but if you go all the way up and here's your occiput right the bump on the back of your neck if you go in the center line there is a dip right under that that is governor vessel 16 it's a wind protection point and uh, if I'm feeling like you know some wind hit me I feel like I'm getting a little sniffles um, you know some cold symptoms I will patch that so if I'm out and about I, you know, I know it's windy out even though I have head covering and everything sometimes I'll just go ahead and patch my Eon so right on the hair right in that notch there governor vessel 16 so that is a tweak and the last point I want to show you is the thinest point so I'm gonna step back a little bit and if you here's your sternal notch right here okay and this is the center of the chest so what you want to do is about a third down if you poke down your breastbone you'll actually feel a little bump around there so that's around conception vessel 19. why do i like this point well it also brain balances but this is a great one because you know what's underneath here the thymus yeah the thymus gland one of your immune glands what we want to do is just patch right over there so that is your original brain balancing protocol so how is the advanced one different what we normally recommend with the original is uh, or what dr dennis likes to recommend is two weeks every single night or day patching rotating through all the different points 